This is one of the easiest things to do, which is just to do a running stitch around the outside of the shape. Now, the young ones might well be able to cut out something like a square, a rectangle or a cross, but I think they're going to need help cutting out the hearts because you have to count quite carefully to make sure that you get some kind of symmetry. And all I've done with this is to do a running stitch in and out, in and out, all the way around, two two, one square away, and then I've overcast. So this is an overcast stitch. And the beauty of this is that you can leave the tails and it's either just decorative, you can make a bow from them as I've done with this one. So this one I made a bow, it's not quite as beautiful as it was when I first did it. There we go. Um, or you can leave it like a bookmark or as I say, just des for decoration. So the children don't need to worry about sewing in the ends of the thread. And I've done the same here. Basically, as it's bigger, I've left a completely empty row into which the stitches have gone there. And I've overcast with the red, but this is a running stitch. Now here you can see the difference between using one and two threads. So the green is two strands, yeah? Now the advantage of sewing with two strands is it will cover it more and also you can knot the end so that it, the needle doesn't come off and once you've done a few stitches you don't even need the knot. So you're not going to pull the needle off the end. Obviously if you get in a knot you're going to have to cut it and then start again but um, you can see that with just the one thread there's quite a lot of gaps down the side here and again I'll I'll provide some still pictures and there are some still pictures on the web pages that will show you the difference. Whereas with the double, so that's quite a nice example. You can stitch with either, you can stitch with one or two, but again for the younger children I do recommend you using two because they won't be able to pull the needle off the end. So this is very quick to do because you just go up and down. Now I accidentally, actually I didn't accidentally, I did it purposely there. I went over an extra stitch because I wanted them both to finish underneath because if I didn't do that I had one finishing on top and one finishing underneath but you don't have to do that you can just have it finish however the other thing is that you can do longer stitches so if you wanted you could do one stitch from here you could do one stitch from here down to here You'd then need to, if you wanted to show, you'd need to kind of do a back stitch and come back and then you'd do a stitch here or you could go around twice and fill in the gaps. The thing to do is just to try it out and see what, what you like doing. Um, that's partly why I've given the alphabets because I think the kids will enjoy doing the alphabets. So there are two types of alphabets. There's the alphabet that you just sew and there's the alphabet that you cut out.